Hello everyone and welcome back. I am Olivia Flavia's Romantic Home. In today's video, I am over the moon excited to share today some DIY, Dollar Tree, and budget-friendly decor crafts. So this is another episode in my huge I Love Spring series. I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. And I truly believe that y'all don't have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. Now, if you're watching this in real time, happy Easter weekend. I hope you all have a gorgeous, blessed Easter. And without further ado, let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns get out your glitter and paint and let's get to crafty for the first dollar tree diy i want to show you guys how to make a super adorable little garden gate planter so from the dollar tree you're going to grab two of their garden gates and just trim off the little side pieces and the little bottom pieces and you're going to want to use some pretty heavy duty scissors to do that the next thing you want to do is take some zip ties and just zip tie your little two garden pieces together and you should be able to find these no problem our dollar tree has been putting out all of the fun spring garden stuff you guys I'm so excited for some spring dreaming the next thing I wanted to do was to kind of customize it to make it a little bit more kind of French country which is the style that I love at my home so I'm taking this flat rust-oleum 2x spray paint and I spray painted my little plastic garden gates and now I'm also going to spray paint these little Dollar Tree buckets to match my little garden gate this is such a fun one to do okay the next thing you want to do is just go ahead and add some hot glue into your little planters because we are going to use some of those ferns that I just shared with you guys in my latest Dollar Tree haul. I also took a crafting tool and poked holes on either side of these little buckets and then I'm just going to zip tie the buckets to the little garden gate um, and you can also use floral wire but I have been really crushing on zip ties lately they're just such a great awesome hole you could get a pretty big pack of them for not too much so then once you have that accomplished you guys can really pretty much find any little garden goodie that you want to plant into your planter now these are those Dollar Tree ferns that I shared with you guys in my last video. I did a Dollar Tree haul with spring goodies and they come about five to six to a pack and I'm pretty impressed with them as far as their quality is concerned. Um, they do look a little bit shiny, of course. They're not totally real looking, but I thought that they were really nice and you can mix them in to some other style of floral arrangements or whatnot. So you guys are gonna have to comment down below and let me know what you guys think about them if you happen to find them in your store. Now, these were not in the spring section, but they were in the regular, like, crafting floral section, at least in my store. I know some stores put them things in different places. The next thing I wanted to do to give it a little bit more of a French country feel was to just distress it with some sandpaper. And I'm just going to lightly distress the, the little wording on the front and then along the base. Now, that's totally up to you. And you guys could even leave the um, little iron gates or the little plastic gate uh, black if you wanted to have it look more like an iron look. I also did add in some of that Celsius moss to kind of fill in the, the gaps there and boom how super fun is this you guys this is such an amazing little project and really we did this on a total budget so two dollars ish <laughs> i know it's going up to dollar 25 but a couple bucks for your gate and your planters and you have such a fun little goodie fun and fabulous on a budget for this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you guys how you can take some of these cute little Dollar Tree signs. Now, I also shared these in my latest Dollar Tree haul, but these were in just the regular frame section. I went ahead and popped off the Dollar Tree wording. It was kind of like a flush brush wash type bathroom sign, which was super cute if I'm going to use this for the bathroom, but I have other plans for these signs. So what I want to do is I cut some little floral prints, and these are kind of reminiscent to me of like the Mackenzie child's florals if you guys love Mackenzie child's pattern you're gonna love the black and white check with the florals mixed in I think it's so fun and beautiful so this was kind of my take on some of their spring decor so maybe kind of like a Mackenzie child's dupes anyway I'm just taking my little Hobby Lobby paper and I'm going to hot glue it to the front of these little pictures and this is a fun idea for any little pictures that you find at Dollar Tree that you might want to change up a bit now I also shared um, this in my Dollar Tree haul 
tall was these lovely little iron hooks. Now I'm just going to hot glue them to the front of this because I'm going to use it for hair ponies. But if you're going to use it for something um, that you need a sturdier hold to, I suggest you use like a bonding glue, like maybe E6000 glue, um, and also use maybe a little bit of a sturdier bonding glue with your paper. But I thought these would be super fun to just add to the front of these. I love these iron style hooks. I think Dollar Tree really killed it on these. I think they look so high end, like something you would see at Hobby Lobby or TJ Maxx for definitely a much more than a dollar. And these are going to be such a fun little decor piece. I also think they would be nice for hanging jewelry or bracelets or really anything that's fairly lightweight because... Oh, and you know, I just thought about this, but you guys could always, you know, add maybe something a little bit more secure to the back, but here is how they turned out. I think these are so adorable and you can see I hung my little scrunchy band that I had in my hair earlier in this video. My daughter encouraged me to get it. I was so excited because I thought it looked really cute, like the little scrunchy with the scarf hanging down, kind of reminds me maybe of 50s, 60s, I'm not sure um, when that was a style with like the little kerchief kind of around the ponytail. You guys are going to have to let me know. If you know, you know. Um, so anyway, pretty fun and fabulous little idea on a budget. Now for this next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you how to make a beautiful kind of little romantic style lantern. I found these wonderful little five by seven frames. And what I want to do is I want to remove um, everything from the frame and then even remove the little clips. Now you remove, remove the little clips that hold the glass in. You want to remove them and go inward when you pull them out. Don't try to pull them out straight the opposite direction or it will break that frame. I have learned that so many times with the Dollar Tree frames. They're really fragile and can break really easy. I did replace the glass back into the frames by hot gluing the glass black back in and you can always use like a little bit of super glue as well. Um, and now I'm just going to glue them all together and that's going to create my little glass lantern which I think these are amazing for centerpieces or table toppers. And you might want to use a bonding glue like E6000 if you're going to be hosting an event so your little um, frames don't pop off or pop apart. Um, for this project in just my home, I think it's fine because it's not going to be moved around or transported, but I highly suggest that because these are fairly delicate. The next thing I did was take one of those Dollar Tree garden knee pads and I hot glued that to the top of this, kind of like using a piece of foam because I want to create a beautiful floral, which I thought was so fun. I know there's going to be so many bridal and you know Easter centerpieces that are going to be made this season so I thought this was just a really fun idea for you guys to recreate and then you can put whatever you want down below in your little glass lantern so you could put some beautiful candles you could put um, a loved one's picture in there um, a little figurine just really really whatever floats your boat you guys can get so creative with things and just really have fun with it and then I'm also using some of kind of the leftover greenery here to cover in and around the edges of where you can see the little uh, foam knee pad. And the little foam knee pad is one of the gardener pads. So it's going to be in your spring gardening section. Um, and so I think it looks so pretty kind of trickling down. I feel like this is such a beautiful romantic floral, like something you would see, um, you know, in uh, just a romantic area garden. I want it to feel like it's like a little secret garden, spring garden type feel. So I hope you guys are inspired by this to create a beautiful little lantern of your own. And again, I did just pop a couple little candles in here. I thought the, the little heart shaped candle with the romance and then the other little candle was just so precious and sweet. And there you guys have that. So super fun and fabulous on a total budget um, and just very romantic and precious and I feel like kind of high end by leaving that glass in you don't necessarily have to do that um, and again I do suggest using kind of a bonding glue if you want it to stay really good like e6000 or super glue but then also using the hot glue so you have that good temporary hold as well so happy crafting on that one Now for this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you all how you can make a super cute little kind of like 
garden box that looks like wood but isn't quite wood using some of these Dollar Tree faux wood signs. Okay, so I saw these in the Valentine's Day section and today is actually Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day, my loves. I love you guys so, so much. But the, what we're going to do with these is we're going to take them apart because we're kind of done using them for Valentine's Day and I just bought extra ones. And you can pop those little signs out and then by adding some hot glue in and around this, I'm going to make it into like a stacked faux wooden kind of garden box feel. So I'm just going to pop these on here, hot glue them. Now, you always can use a bit of a bonding glue like E6000 glue or super glue if you need that for more of a permanent hold mixed in with your hot glue for that temporary hold. Now the next thing I want to do is add in some styrofoam. So I added a little dab of hot glue and popped some styrofoam into my little kind of wooden faux planter box. And now I'm going to use these pretty pretty greenery pieces and I'm just going to pop them in here to create a beautiful little green kind of floral box and again you guys can use pretty much any florals or greenery I found these last season at Dollar Tree and I think they're so pretty I've actually reused them in so many different goodies and things that I've shared with you guys um, so I do have a $100 Hobby Lobby gift card giveaway going on, and I would love for you guys to participate in that. And all you have to do to participate in my little Hobby Lobby gift card giveaway is to subscribe or follow my social medias and to answer the secret question. So my secret question for this video is, what is your favorite spring plant? So when you look forward to spring and you're doing some spring dreaming, what do you guys like to garden or plant? Um, and do you like to plant flowers and greenery or do you like to plant veggies? I would love to hear what you guys are up to for this upcoming bit of spring and how you're doing some spring dreaming. I get so many ideas from everyone on this channel. I have so many creative folks here and I know even by commenting what your favorite spring flowers are that might inspire and bless others. Um, I have beautiful irises that come up in my front yard and I love to plant roses. So here is how the cute little garden box turned out. I thought it was super cute and just an easy way to build like a little faux wooden garden box. And I mean, you see these at the Target Dollar Spot um, or TJ Maxx, you know, and you know, they can be 10, 15 bucks. Um, if you see something like this with the greenery at TJ Maxx, and we made this on a cute little budget. So I hope this inspires you guys. And you guys can also look for the little Dollar Tree crates. And I am going to pop a little quick clip of Benji Bear getting his bark box. He was so hilarious. Oh my so goodness. So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. Again, if you guys are watching this in real time, happy Easter weekend. I am hugging all of your hearts so tight and wishing you a gorgeous, fabulous, blessed Easter. No matter where you're at, I hope you wake up every day and know that every day is a gift from God. No matter what your life circumstances are, keep going and keep putting one foot in front of the other. I know so many of us have gone through so many changes over the last couple of years and, um, you know, we just have to adjust and keep going with that and know that God has got us in his grace and his love and mercy. And so I just hope that that encourages you guys no matter where you're at. I also want to encourage you all to be kind online as we move more and more to an online type of world with so much social media going on. It's so easy, you know, to get upset with somebody, you know, and just write a comment, whether it be text or on their social media. But remember, you don't ever know what somebody's going through and you don't ever know who's going to read that written word or how that written word is going to be perceived. So use your words for good. It even says that in Proverbs, a kind word is like honey to the soul. So remember to use kind words, especially online. So right now you're on a YouTube video and on a social media platform. And I would love for you all to drop your favorite scripture down in the comment section below or your favorite encouraging word or your favorite color or drop your favorite emoji down into this comment section. Through doing this, I have just noticed such a big change in the comments in my videos and in this community on how everybody is loving on one another and being kind because really, truly, we don't ever know right in that moment how somebody is handling their day, what has happened in their life. Maybe their heart is hurting and you don't even know it and they seem happy and okay, but you just don't know what's going on in somebody's life. So that's my encouragement to you and remember to give yourself and others grace. So I love y'all so, so much. 
much. I'm working on now transitioning out of my walking boot for my ankle. Recently, I broke my ankle. I've kind of shared that journey with you guys. I might even put like a compilation of what the progress was because it has been slow. It was on January 9th and this is now April 7th when I'm filming this. So let me tell you guys, um, I'm taking steps on my own, but it definitely has a long way to go. So bear with me. I'm going to be bringing you guys new content next week, which I'm really excited about. Some new crafts. Um, as long as my ankle can hold up and, um, you know, so I'm just going to keep going, you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching my videos. It really means so much. I am a one woman show. It's just me and you guys in my camera and I press play. I film and edit and create all of my own content. So, um, you know, you guys have probably been here with me from the beginning. This is going to be my fifth season on YouTube and, you know, you've seen kind of my kiddos grow up. Uh, I don't show them very often, but my son is now in college and um, my daughter is driving now. So it's kind of crazy how fast everything has gone, but I'm thankful and blessed to have y'all here. I love you so, so much, and I wish you a gorgeous, fabulous, blessed day. Tune in next week for new content because I'm gonna be taking down all of my Easter stuff and replacing it with some kind of more summer-y or um, you know, just a different transitional decor. So let's see what that's going to be this weekend. I'm going to try to look into, you know, some of the new trends for 2023. So anyway, have a gorgeous, bat, fabulous, blessed Easter weekend and holiday. And I love y'all. And until our next video, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. Talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.